I'm sharing a hotel with you. That's we had nowhere to fuck. Well, you could have went to the Motel Sleazy Six. Like, I'll fuck around, like, you know, my dick's not big enough to pick you up and fuck you against the wall like in the movies. I look over, the cops are coming up on him and took that turn and just rolled the fuck out of that car, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was like Grand Theft Auto, bro. Filters, too. Like, all these chicks yeah, these black and white. filters and shit. And, like, the... And all, like how fat girls are, no offense against but like they all know how to use the angles and shit. Oh, you so like you angles. don't actually see what you're actually seeing. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Morning Drip Podcast. I'm your host, Kyler Moore. I'm joined today by my co-host, good friend and co-worker, Blade. What's going on, bud? Sorry, I had to finish that one beer, so we're ready for our beer of the day. I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? I'm good, man. You know, last episode, we, we're we still obviously here in Atlanta. Same hotel room. Same hotel room. We switched it up a bit. Yeah, we're, you know, we're doing it for the viewers. The listeners, I guess, never will really know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. No we're, appreciation for, like, all the hard work, us moving this place around. Dude, those pull-out couches are fucking heavy. Uh, you mean this pullout couch? Yeah, especially with all the cum on it, which brings us to our sponsor of the day, Crust Off. Fellas, let me ask you something. You ever not have time to do laundry? You got a girl coming over? Maybe you nutted in your shirt or something. Let's be honest, we all do it. The towel was too far away. You didn't want to drip on the carpet, whatever, or your cat. So what do you do? You grab the nearest thing by you. Well, guess what? It's 8 a.m. You're late for that meeting. You nutted in that freshly ironed shirt. Crust Off is easy to use. It looks like a brush, but it has a nice chemical formula, safe, biodegradable, to get that crust off. So you're ready to look sharp. If it soaks through, you are kind of fucked. So if you do have, like, if you were saving it up, uh, you're going to want to wash it. But this is just for, like, those little splatter piddle paddles, you know? Crust Off. Use our promo code Kyler and Blade. Go on uh, Morning Drip Podcast. We'll have the link. Crust off. Back to the show. Sick, dude. Well, what what a what an interesting uh, sponsor for today. Be the upper crust with crust off. Word. So before we jump into today's podcast episode, as we always do, a friendly reminder: make sure you guys like, share, subscribe on all the major podcast platforms. We are available on Spotify, YouTube, and Instagram and TikTok. Follow us on all those socials. We post clips all the time, man. It's been it's been a journey, bro. Yeah. I mean, pretty soon we're going to go viral and we'll be like that one fucking plant chick. What's her name? Oh, you're talking about uh, Who Bobby Altov. Yeah, Bobby Altov. Yeah. yeah. She's kind of cute. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not into blondes really, but, you know, she mm. has like that. Just like, I don't, I guess that's her shtick. Or like, I don't, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't care. Yeah. But, uh, you know, hopefully soon people think we're just a fucking plant. I, I will, but we're not. No, we're not. We're legit. We do work in the industry. We're just not like, you know, the top dogs. Yeah. I, well, you are more than me. But. Definitely below the line. Yeah. What are we drinking today, man? We got some Dude. Japanese shit today, huh? Oh, I'm gonna... My favorite word in Japanese and in English, kampai, which means cheers. Is that what this is? Yeah. No, this is a Belgian-style white ale. Yeah, but it has Japanese Sui shit on it. no neko. Hold it up to your camera, because mine's do, pretty far. How do you far. say? Uh... Suyobi no Nico. That's what I just said. Yeah, yeah, you said it right. Yeah. It means Suyobi no Nico. It means Wednesday cat. Uh, made for your over the hump day. You know that's fucking funny, dude. Because tomorrow is Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, imported by Seattle, Washington, of course. Fresh off the boat. Well, let's crack these bad boys open. <sighs> these things are. Ice cold. I do like that about our fridge. I did eat, put some wings in the fridge, and uh, they were kind of frozen, but I still ate them. Mmm, interesting. Ooh, I like that. It tastes like a Hefeweizen. Yeah, it tastes that exactly is Hefeweizen. like a Hefeweizen. That is Hefeweizen. It's good, though. I, I, I could drink, like, two or three. Hefeweizen is a little heavy. A yeah. little heavy, man. That, yeah. Especially on the back end there, you get a little bit of that uh, wheat, banana-y, clove yeah. kind of flavor. Yeah, kind of a banana-y, but it's, like, very subtle. It's, uh, I like that. I used to brew beer back in Oregon, like homebrew, and this is kind of the stuff I would go for. It's good. It's, I'm guessing they probably do some rice in there, too, to make it, like, I want to see what the color is like. You mean it's, like, Japanese? Yeah. 
What do you want to pour it in your mouth and let me look? Just don't. S it looks like beer, bud. Yeah, it looks like beer. Kind of got a little floral, like almost yeah, like a lychee. There's taste. a lot of lot of notes in here. Yeah, it's not bad. No, it's not terrible. It's better definitely than better than definitely better than <laughs> last week's beer. Yeah, too. Atlanta beer, fucking garbage. Uh, yeah. So after last week's episode, man, I mean, there's been there's been I, I would say some some developments. Yeah, you know we uh shit on Atlanta. Yep. I still might shit on Atlanta a little bit. We might. Bit. We yeah. might. Uh, we went to a uh, Jr. Crickets. <laughs> Who's who's blowing up your phone over here, dude? Uh, you know, just a lady. Who? Not the not the Delta girl. Okay, all right. Yeah. We'll get into that later. Yeah. Okay. But uh, let me put that on. So yeah, uh, yeah. Someone didn't come prepared. Yeah. You know, it's crazy, man. Uh, you know, obviously we're gonna talk about Atlanta, the experience it's been, but uh, dude, crazy news this week, man. Obviously Bro. this is coming out like next week, but Aaron Rodgers. You see that shit? Yeah, you Dude, saw that shit. That shit was absolutely insane, man. Yeah, that was fucking nuts. We were on set working, and uh, we had a little lull, so then we put on the game. Of course. And then, you know. Like, Four plays in. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was in the first quarter. It was yeah. Like, Fuck. Dude. And I mean, I saw the play, man. I saw it, and I was like, "Oh, he definitely just ripped his Achilles." How old is he though? He's not like Brett Favre, old, right? No, I, he set the record. I think right? He's in his forties though. He's like forty-one, forty-two, something like that. Brett Favre was like forty-three when he retired, right? I don't know. He was old. Hmm. Did you I get like know. some stem cell or some shit? Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe. Yeah. I'm sure Aaron would. You know, he's he's been very vocal about his ayahuasca use. Uh, That's sick. I know. Dude. That's one thing we didn't do in Peru. I know. You ever oh, do ayahuasca? No, I've never done ayahuasca. I've done peyote. I don't think it's the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing. It's I don't think it's the same thing. Pretty sure it's the same thing. It's like a big pretty DMT sure trip. Not. Okay. Well, uh, not for me. Dude, crazy though. Because, <laughs> you know, they had they had the whole hard knocks thing going. Uh, you know, they, they followed the Jets for like five five weeks, whatever it was. Six weeks, I think, preseason, all that. And the storyline was all about Aaron and his new team, dude. And now he's out for the season, man. Yeah, who's the second string? It's uh... Uh, Zach Wilson, man. He was the starter last year. He was a rookie last year. Who did he play for in college? Uh, shit, I don't know, man. Yeah, who the fuck cares? Me not memorable. But, yeah, that's pretty crazy, man. And then did you hear about – were you ever a fan of, like, uh, That 70s Show? I know where you're going with this. Where am I going? I mean – are, were you a fan of that 70s show? All I'll say, man, is I blame Scientology. Okay. Uh, for those of you that are listening, I'm a big That 70s Show fan. I was a big that, that, uh, Fuck. Atlanta talking. I was a big That 70s Show fan. Yeah. Uh, and The Ranch. I really actually enjoyed The Ranch. I know uh, he got kicked off the show when the allegations of rape uh, were brought to... Right. The table, uh, and then you know he was charged, found guilty. Yeah, and Ashton uh, Kutcher and Mila Kunis both wrote, like wrote letters to like, the defending judge. him. Yeah. yeah, I mean it was there was no was, proof, but it's also like, well, I think anything we say here on this podcast is all hearsay because we don't really right. know exactly. No what one happened. ever can really know. No, of course not, unless uh, you're there. And it, it, it's you know it's never okay, right? If that was what happened, but also oh, the justice system. Well, what what happened, then, you know, I think you should be castrated. Uh, well, but, sure, yeah, I agree. Know, again, though, like, wrongful conviction. Like, I'm not going to get into that. That's hot water, but. <laughs> That's a hot take. I still like the show. It's like, oh, I love the show. But, yeah, he was just sentenced to 30 years, man. It was 30 to life. Yeah. So, so he got the least amount, but, I mean, the guy's going to end up being, like, 80 if he makes it that long and dead. Fuck. In jail, bro. That's crazy. That's a long fucking time. Yeah, he's on Suicide Watch, too. Yeah. I never watched The Ranch. I know Sam Elliott, though. He actually lives near my hometown in Oregon. Mm. Cool guy. Cool guy. He used to come into the butcher shop where I used to work. He'd always get a top sirloin and a <sighs> bone marrow dog for his pup. Suspect. No, it's true. I Long's know. Meat I don't, Market. I don't know if I believe you, dude. It's true. Hey, well, you know, we got a great episode for everyone today. Uh, we're going to kind of discuss a lot of uh, our time here in Atlanta, kind of catch you guys up on some news, kind of give our thoughts on it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Where do we start? So we had to work. We were working on this show. We won't get into that. But I want to get into that. You do? Yeah, let's talk about it. 
All right. What do you th- you you start? Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, here's the deal. I, I've been in this industry a long time. I've worked on a lot of varying amount of shows, reality shows, music, sports, all the jazz, man. And this show was a reality reunion show, which I've done numerous times. And I'll just say this. Everyone asks me what show I'm doing. And I don't have a lot of black friends. Right. Okay. But, uh, yeah, this show's on BET. So I've right. never heard of it. It's a second season show. I did the reunion last year. It, it, you know, it, it was whatever, man. It, it, it's a job. I don't really yeah. care. You know, a lot of the people were really chill that I worked with. It was actually the first show where I was the minority on set. Uh, uh, like, even well, with the crew. Welcome to the party, bud. Yeah. Welcome to the party. Oh, I get it, because you're uh, his- Asian. I'm Oriental. Oriental, right. That's thank you. the uh, you, politically uh, correct term. Yes, thank you. N- not Korean, no. Oriental. No. Yes. Exactly. Yes. The circled Or ones. you can call me El Chino. El if Chino. I'm back home in my home of Santiago. That is true. Or yeah. Chifa, if you're in Peru. Uh, Chifa means- is like Chinese food, though. Yeah, but that's what they were calling you. Okay, well, I'm not Chinese food, dog. Okay, no one, no one be eating me up. Um, I don't know, dude. It's that girl the other night. Whoa. We'll what just you? say Kyler got into some trouble in Atlanta. <laughs> I don't know if it's trouble, but it was a good time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're out here working on a show, you know, whatever. It's been pretty, pretty easy, dude. Yeah, I mean, it was the first few days were easy. Yeah, it was Show good for me that we were able to go in a little early because I, I never used those cameras before. They're just like some broadcast cams. And yep. then with the strike, I was pretty much out of work for like fucking three months, pretty much. Right. So since the country music awards. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it went off pretty good, you know, like it was pretty much just me and the one AC running it. And the yeah. other guys, they're chill. But what are you, well, yeah. you going to say? You're just going to leave it at that? No, no, I'm just going to. Because I've worked you with, really better I, rethink. I mean, this. you know a lot more than me. Yep. <laughs> but there is a difference in work quality on where you are. Like L.A. people, it's a lot different work style than it is with Atlanta or with New York. You know. Would you sorry, agree? I just chugged the shit out of that beer, dude. Oh, excuse me. Got a little buzz sorry. already, though. Yeah, I do too. Kinda we weird. did. We did have one beer before this. Look, it, it, there's definitely varying degrees of level of competency between Atlanta, New York, Chicago, and L.A. Right. There is a very big difference between L.A. and every other city. Right. Uh, New York is is on that level as well. It's just in a different way. Yeah. Because uh, New Yorkers are just different. <laughs> I mean. I mean, they're mostly like Brooklyn, right? Can we? Can we? Can, we should just bring in our boy CS right now. Yeah, shout uh, out CS. Shout out CS. What up, dog? Oh. oh, dude, before we jump in any further, we got to hold the fucking phone, dude. Happy birthdays. Dude, we need to give our boy. Captain Hook. The man. The myth. The fucking legend. He is the legend. We won't say that because we don't want to get him in hot water. <laughs> okay. Like our other buddy on the last episode. <laughs> you can't the fuck up <laughs> okay but yes a very big happy birthday to our boy josh we know you're listening we know you're watching jp morgan uh jp morgan those are his initials just the j and the p to be honest yeah he likes taking it taking na- the p but now he's making that bank thanks to you actually yeah, I gave him his career too. You're welcome, bud. Stay. He was humble. working on street outlaws like me. Stay humble. Humble beginnings, as I always say. I love how we're ragging on him, but we're wishing him a happy birthday. Not ragging on him. We're <sighs> proud of the man he's grown up to be. No, he's still not a man. Dude, when we when how we met JP, he's 27 now. No, 28 maybe. He's a he's year older than yeah, me. Yeah, so I think he's 26. 28. I think he's 28 now. Okay. When we first met Josh, it was when we made our dating show. Yep. And you found him on what? Craigslist? No. <laughs> found, like an AC gig or something? I found something? him on Staff Me Up. Oh, you posted be... on Staff yeah, Me Up? Yeah, I posted on Staff Me Up That's for a PA, crazy. dude. A fucking PA job. And I was like, this clown. <laughs> I'm going to pay him $20 an hour. Hey, that's pretty standard for a pa right yeah i mean whatever and it was fun i told him it would be fun yeah exactly under the table it was like a fucking six hour day good deal uh i mean we had a good time yeah bag 
I was just about to say Frodo Baggins. <laughs> I mean, that's how you know someone's chill. You well, know? I don't you're know. Like Bag, and someone's like, and oh, they get we'll, it. We'll be and friends. They get it. They yeah. get it. Uh, yeah, man. But yeah, big shout out to our boy JP. He's a good guy, man. Uh, I think you know he's he's still young in his life, and you know I'll talk shit, man. I, I think I think the guy just needs to uh, come back to the boys and stop simping. Yeah, he's wifed up. Yeah, he's simping. Yeah, he's admitted it to me. You know that, right? He's verbally said, yeah, I'm simping. I know he's simping because, like, once you start posting photos. Oh, and shit. It's like, look, I'm looking for love, too. You got to have time for the boys still, though, because, like, at the end of the day, you know, I always hope for the best. I hope it works. I hope he finds love. I've never met his girl. I'm sure she's fucking awesome. But at the end of the day, if something ends, guess who's there? The motherfucking boys. The fucking dude. boys. No, I and look, I'm all about my boys finding happiness, finding love. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to get too much into one of our other boys' personal life and what's going on with that. Yeah. Because uh, that's his, his – and he's a shadow member. Yeah. He is a shadow yeah, member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, man. I mean, back – back. let's let's reel this in. Uh, I think, yeah, big shout-out to, to JP. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, JP. The boys we will always be, be here for you, bud. Yeah. You know, and We've done um, lots of travels together. Whenever that time may or may not come, I'm not I'm not hoping that it does. Um, there will be a ticket to Peru ready for you the next day, bud. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Oh yeah, dude, we need to fucking go. Oh, back there. I'm fuck. so fucking done with the U.S., dude. Dude, okay, so yeah, I'm a patriot. Let me just get that straight. But fuck, I'm dude. an ex-patriot. You're an ex-pat. Yeah. Hey. Ooh, hey, the jinx. Hey. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. We're talking about Hotlanta, the show. I mean, whatever. The show's been whatever, man. There, there are different levels, I think, of of how this industry works and the people that work in it. Yeah. Or what were you gonna say? Uh, something I shouldn't have. So uh, just keep going. Something <laughs> that I you shouldn't have. That I should not have said. Or what, what, should not say. Oh, okay. Got yes. it. I was going to say, yes. are you regretting something that you've already said today? No, 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 no. The show's okay. good. I was just like, I, I don't want to talk shit. Oh, just, yeah. No, yeah. no. There's definitely no place for that. Yeah. Because there's actually some good people I, work, we, I got to work with and meet on that Look, show. And... No, 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 no. Hold the phone, motherfucker. I've been in this industry a long time. You know, yeah. you know there's, just, there's always going to be shows, man. Look, there's one bad day. Right. Which happened out of, to be the out of five shoot days. day. So what? Right. Doesn't matter. You just got paid. I'm not even going to get into that. Right. Our industry is very lucrative. It's very uh, easygoing. Not uh, for me at, on this one, but uh, it's the next lucrative. one will be pretty lucrative. It's pretty lucrative. Pretty lucrative. Yes. Anyway. Standard AC, so yeah, working local. I, I mean, you know, this is part of – we've talked about this so many times on the pod. I think it'll be a reoccurring – I mean, dude, we literally just talked about how, like – you and I, off camera, off yeah. the pod, but we'll bring it to the, the forefront of, of this. And we kind of touched on it, is that we eventually want to move this podcast to a traveling kind of podcast where we're able to do exactly what we're doing right here. Yeah. And really discuss cities and culture and, and like, women. Yeah. And fucking women. Yeah, and we're not always, well, like, man, right. You're just going to, you're just going to. No, I, I'm going to jump back to that. But, okay. I mean, with the travel thing, just going back, because you're going to a few different things. But, like. Yes. Yeah, no, going to, like. Whoa. Doing some traveling, some different stuff. Keep it kind of different. Shake it up a bit. Reorganizing hotel rooms. If you guys could see this hotel room, it was a fucking disaster. Of <laughs> it's, like, it's a disaster. How we set up for this pod. We put lamps everywhere. And, but, we uh, need lights. We really need to get like mobile lights. Yeah. But like whether or not we're right in our opinions, it's still our opinions, just our perspective on life. And I think we could bring a cool view to that as yeah. we travel for places. As work is starting to kind of pick up. Um, I'm just going to reel this back for a sec. Okay. Because you just literally reeled me back in, dude. Uh-uh. Which is very... To fuck. And Ugh. he's back. Um, No, what I was going to say, man, is that we, we really want to turn this pod into something where we travel, we get to experience different cultures, and I think, you know, the dating game, you know, is, is something that... We're all trying to find love, but at the same time, we work in an industry where it's really difficult. And I think, you know, we've said it before. We just appreciate women outside of the United States because it's not so capitalistic. Absolutely. What oh, are you doing? speaking of women. Yeah. Dude, so Kyler here matches with some babe. 
Okay, she wasn't a babe, but go ahead. A soft five or a hard s- soft six. Soft six. Soft six, which is good when you're like out of town, like whatever. <laughs> so, soft six. We're road dogs. <laughs> we're road dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Raw dog and road dogs. But uh, <laughs> absolutely not. But, uh, so. But actually, yes. I hop in the shower because I'm gonna go out. I'm going out with one of my buddies who lives here. Shout out Lucas. And uh, Kyler gets a date. So, he leaves. I hop in the shower as he leaves. I get out of the shower, and he texts me, like, bro, the craziest shit happened. I'm like, it's been, like, nine fucking minutes. What fucking happened? Dude, absolute mayhem. Can you put your phone on silent? Um, sorry, sir. I, I, I'm just checking. Um, Please don't assume I'm, my gender. I'm checking my uh, Please Tinder. don't assume my gender. Uh, so yeah, I go on this date. I'm meeting up with her, and and to, what was the uh, ethnicity? Uh, uh, Sorry to cut you off. Uh, she is white, Caucasian. Okay, white, cool. cool. Um, we all know how this goes. Uh, yeah, man. It, you know, honestly, I, I I have to say it. Like, you know, she asked me where she wanted, where I wanted to go. Oh, you want to go to Midtown? We're staying in Midtown here. And I was like, Midtown no, sucks. No, I don't want to go somewhere that's near me. I want you to take me to your local bar. Mm-hmm. Where do you go on like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night to just grab a drink and just right. catch up and like chat? And have what, she take you to like Buckhead or something? Uh, that place sucks. We explore. more on that later. Yeah, uh, but no, it was a place up north past Buckhead, about fifteen twenty minutes outside the city uh, from downtown. I shouldn't say outside the city because it was still in Atlanta. And I ended up uh, going to this like strip mall bar. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, on my way there, dude, within fu- within ten minutes of me leaving. Get on the freeway, dude. I'm like cruising, bro. The highways here are nice. Wide lanes, we, we, new roads. We, we know the type. We know the type. We definitely know the type. And they're like Vegas highways. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, it's pretty well, pretty, pretty similar. Yeah. But yeah, man, I'm going like 85. Didn't even realize. I looked down. I'm like, oh, shit. I better slow the fuck <laughs> down, man. Yeah, like, Texas. Like, yeah, exactly. So I slow down. I look at my rear view mirrors, dude. I see fucking cop lights everywhere. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And they're coming up fast. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. Did I just get, like, helicopter or something? Was it more than one cop? It was three cops, man. Uh, that wouldn't be for you. No, Well, I don't know. Maybe, dude. An Oriental cruising at 85 down the freeway in Hotlanta. Yeah, I don't know what they think of. You never know what could happen. Asians here. It's Hotlanta. Anyway, so next thing I know, man, I look over, and there's this, like, Toyota Corolla just fucking going, like, 105 miles an hour. Obviously, Damn. now I'm like, okay, this they is a top high out at like 120. It's or like something. a high speed chase. I know that from experience. I have a Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 2019, though. I'm not like that bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, man, this guy cuts me off. I mean, it could be a woman, but let's be honest. It's probably a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. I knew you wanted to say <laughs> like, something else. A Miata. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, dude, this guy cuts me off. He he fucking goes off the on. He goes onto the on ramp or off ramp, right? And the cops. I'm 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 still driving, so I'm, I didn't just stop. So I'm I pass the off ramp. He's on there, dude. I look over. The cops are coming up on him. He slows down to maybe like 65, 70 miles an hour, something like that, dude. And took that turn and just rolled the fuck out of that car, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was like Grand Theft Auto, bro. No fucking cap. He probably no died. cap, dude. He probably died. Oh, I'm sure he probably did. That's fucking wild, dude. I've seen a few of those, like, dude. I've, I've never seen, seen it in real life. I've seen two car crashes that were fatal, but okay. Well, this was fucking... different. This is a high speed chase. I've never seen through that downtown Atlanta. GTA all the yeah, way. Exactly. <laughs> this was GTA Hot Atlanta, GTA Six. Uh, so yeah, man, I showed up to that date, dude, and my fucking adrenaline was through the roof, man. Yeah, dude, that's fucking wild. I was fucking like just amped. I was like, holy fuck, dude, this like this guy could have fucking killed me, man. I bet that made you produce a huge nut. Okay, well, more on that now. <laughs> How was the day? Yeah, it was cool, man. Like I said, I've always said this uh, when it comes to dating apps and meeting people when you're when we're road dogs. Uh, is that you just gotta be really forward and, and tell them exactly what's what's what your expectation and your boundaries yeah. are. Yeah. I saw I mean I saw your messages. Yeah. You're smooth. You're straightforward too. Uh, very just straightforward, like, man. She was like, you know, like what do you want out of this? And you're like, just trying to have some fun. Show me and your city, let's have some fun. Yeah. That's always how I kinda like to phrase it because I do want to like experience 
your culture, your where you go. This is why I specifically said I don't want to go to somewhere that's by my hotel. Right. And like some people might say that sounds sleazy, but it's like you're actually being upfront. Like yes. the real sleaziness is like playing the game. Or like, you know, like I said before, like those feminist bros who are just snakes in the grass just oh. trying to like befriend be like the friend zone trying to get pussy eventually. It's like just right. put your intentions out there. Yeah. Like it's better for you mentally. Yeah. And you're just being honest. Like what yeah. honesty sometimes hurts, but it's still a better thing to do. Just I, be straightforward. I, I agree, man. And you know, I would say it's fifty fifty. You know, sometimes the, the ladies love it and sometimes the ladies don't appreciate it. Yeah. But you know what? At the end of the day, man, I don't give a but shit. But at the end of the day, I, you're being honest, though. It's not even... A, okay, yes. But it's really not even about being that. It's more about, like, I don't have the fucking time... Right. ...to fucking play the game. Right. Like me? Well, I was gonna, I was going to flip this back over to you. Uh, but, yeah, it was a good night, man. You know, uh, went back to her place, did our thing. Um, yeah. And then it was great because I just, like, left, and she had no, no problem with that. You know? It was sweet. Anyway, uh, so, you know, we, you just kind of laid out the story yeah what happened with you and your buddy dude yeah so my buddy worked with him on the show we are actually pas together on the road through like mold like that show outlaws we did went all across the country for like you know a year yeah and then uh but yeah really cool dude he's like he's back in work now because the strike's been rough on everyone and uh yep. we went to he's from boston but he's been living in atlanta so we went to east atlanta because oh, I was God. like, we went to Buckhead, me and you. How'd that wasn't, go? Yeah. Wasn't That's really awesome. the vibe. Midtown, too. It's kind of the same vibe. It's like a mix of just like. Mm, I don't know. Just like. Uh, you put it a good way earlier. I don't know. Pretentious if you chads and dads. It's like chad dads and there chads. There you go. Yes. Yeah. So like frat dads and frat kids. And not the fucking vibe. No. And, and it's like. Yeah, it just wasn't the vibe. So I was like, hey, man, I didn't like it. So we go to East Atlanta, and then it's more like hipster bars. It's kind of more almost like an East 6 Austin, but a little bit grittier. Okay. You know, it's kind of like a... Obviously, it's Atlanta, so it's definitely grittier. Right, right. So we go to this one bar. We go to another one, I think like Vortex and a few others. And then we end up on the way back going to this place, MJQ, which was pretty cool it's like next to a gay bar and then next to this other like kind of dance clubby bar but it's also near a strip mall but you don't know what you're walking into it's just like this weird building and then it's literally like a ramp like you would go into a parking garage underground Got you it. just walk this road ramp that's just filled with graffiti like you're in an abandoned tunnel interesting and then you go down and then it's just a nightclub yeah oh okay yeah and it was fucking popping got it and then uh yeah, you know, and then I ended up, you know, you know my dance move. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I have this dance move. It kills every time. Oh, yeah, I know this move. <laughs> so those who mm -hmm. don't know, well, I don't want to share my move. Uh, maybe, anyway, it'll, maybe it'll be on a story one of these days. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much it's like I, there's like a we go to this dance club underground and – there's like a circle of people, you know, because like people are taking turns in the circle doing their fucking dances and shit. It's like high school. Yeah, but no one's good at dancing. So I was like, OK, I actually won't make a fucking retard of myself. I think it's called mentally handicapped. Sorry. Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Mongoloid, <laughs> which is racist, actually, too. OK, if you know where that comes from. Jesus. But, uh, well, that's what the okay. term used to be. So anyways, Reload in blade. Yeah. I do so I do my I point at her I do my dance move we start talking we're dancing for a bit and you know really pretty girl curly hair and then uh you know get a good night kiss because I gotta go he's gotta go he has his girlfriend you know and she's like oh where are you so he drops me off back at the hotel I see you me and her start finger fucking texting word and then uh you know you saw some of those texts you were saying I was being simp this motherfucker was full on simp, ladies and gentlemen. I was not simp, bro. When you literally can't, when you when you literally get the response and you're like, "Oh, what do I say? What do I say?" Oh. Uh, uh. Which no, was not what happened. That's exactly what you were doing. No. Were, yes, you were. So the issue was, I could have fucking closed. No, you couldn't have. Yeah. What happens is she's a fucking 
airline hostess and flight attendant or yeah whatever <laughs> and fuck and i'm out of town she's here for her training for her flight attendant shit yeah so she's sharing a hotel with a roommate okay i'm sharing a hotel with you yeah that's the, we had nowhere to fuck okay well you could have went to the motel sleazy six dude. and then here's like a here's a red flag i was like you have the rental car I'm not comfortable driving if I'm not on your insurance or if I'm not, like, it won't cover your insurance if I, God forbid, Sam. what happens. Sam. But fucking, Sam. I was like, oh, hey, let's meet in the middle because she lives, like, fucking far out west Atlanta. And yeah. she was like, oh, well, it's, like, a $20 Uber, and no, I can't. You said it was like, a $26 Uber. Whatever, $26 okay. Uber. She's like, I can't afford that. I'm like, okay, I understand. I'm like, whatever, so... I was like, I tried looking at places near her, even her fucking like hotel bars. She didn't want to do the hotel bar. There's nowhere out near her because she's in the fucking boonies. So I'm like going as far as I can. And it's like, all right, how about this one? It's a $15 Uber. And then she's like, uh, I, I just can't afford that. And I was like, well, I'll get the drinks and stuff. And she's just like, uh, yeah, it's just money's really tight. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to like, uber fucking 20 minutes out there yeah pay 30 dollars for her uber say another 30 40 bucks for drinks to for something to might happen and but yet we don't know where well, to fucking go well, and fuck. well, 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 well. you're not you, worth it and she, not worth it what just, what say it because you were giving me so much fucking shit. Yeah, I called the whole council about this because you're fucking Yeah, saying simping. I was being a simp. Yes, I wasn't you fucking were. simping. Yes, I'm just not going to fucking... I'm not going to shell out money. Okay, well, when she's like, like oh, I, oh do you, I've got spicier photos, you just have to beg for them. You yeah. You fucking beg for I'm not going to fucking beg for spicy photos. Okay, well, you don't play the game and talk about poop. What did I talk about poop? You were going to try to talk about poop. I, it worked last time. Well, it doesn't always work. What did I do? I talk about poop. You didn't because I told you not to go there. This is what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. My oh co-host, my he sits here. He tries to act like he wasn't simping that night. He was. Okay, when you're on your phone like this. No, no, and when hold she on. Responds, I'll read that. And when she text. responds every minute, when you call her and she just will not stop talking and wants to talk to you, and you don't just put your foot down and say, look, I got to run. I and tried. She's she like, kept fucking talking. She, well... That's on you. And I didn't want to Full ruin sim. it because I was like, oh, Full maybe sim. there's a next night. You know, you got to Well, ahead. yeah, of course. But, you know, uh, I think, one, you're a simp. Two, the mm. hotel situation is not really that big of a problem. You could have gotten a room. That's on you. Don't try to make it that it's her fault and that, like, you've got to spend $200 to get a hotel room. Yeah. Well, if you want to get laid, you're going to pay the $200. Yeah, but then I'm out 300 all together. So what? It's not worth it for pussy. Okay, that's why you go to South like, America. Unless if it was like, yeah, unless if it was like actually, you know, some type of connection thing or something. Like, I mean, she was cool, and who knows? There could have been a connection, but who knows? I'm not going to spend her tonight. I'm not going to simp. Maybe I'm not going to spend three hundred dollars <laughs> on a first date. Hey, if you spend three hundred dollars on a first date, I'm pretty sure ninety nine point nine percent you're going to get laid. You want to take that bet? I will pay Depends, that. Depends, man. I will That's pay. why I don't buy chicks drinks at bars anymore. I, will I learned pay, that when I was younger. I will pay the $300 if you close it. Well, you yeah, but then it's just, you're just taking me at my word. Yeah. I wouldn't lie to you, but still. It's That's like, a pretty big bet, bro, to lie yeah, to your boy. I One know. of the boys at the council. So I don't even know why you're going to say that. I'm just saying I believe that if you were to spend $300 on a date, one date, you're probably going to get laid. Because you're doing stuff that's fun. It's 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 not about the money. It's about the experience. Right now, it's about the money, dude. It's well, been rough yeah, for me. I, you got it, me on the show, tight. which I'm thankful for. Things but the strike's been too, fucking dude. hard. Yeah, no, it's been, it's like been the, tight, dude. Like, SAG is not making any fucking traction I don't know why stuff. he's worried about SAG and WGA. He's a non-union worker. It still affects us. Yeah, but don't be a Union little, guys are coming over to my shit. Don't be a little crying bitch. Yeah, I know. But it's still tight. Anyway... This girl, dude, you you simping. Dude. Let me read these Re texts. Read Let's see if bit. I'm fucking texting. Just read a little bit. So, I cancel, you know, and blah, blah, blah. Point is, uh, so I cancel. She's sad, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, I am. And she was like, you know, talking to me like, oh, do you think I'm all that in a bag of chips? 
And I was like, yeah. And then she's like, so then I was like, I am curious, though, what you wore for our date tonight. Winky face. She goes, you should have been there with like that hmm. emoji. And then she's like, I'm kidding. Maybe if you were good enough to me. So then I said, and I showed you this because I was in the room with you at the time. I was like, what if I'm bad? Devil emoji. <laughs> so she messages back. Yeah. Asking for me to put you on your knees already. Okay, damn. Huh. You already starting with me. So like the smooth sly dog I am, I said, I'm already starting without you. I told him to say that, by the way. <laughs> but, yeah, we could go through this whole text, dude. But it was the way you were acting that made you full simp. Yeah. So then she messages, oof, never mind then. You ain't getting no pics if you're going to act up like this. So I'm like, oh, shit, I came off too strong and pervy because I was listening to my buddy. So, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So me and you go down to the laundry room to do our laundry at the Marriott. And... I just send her a photo of my dirty clothes in a laundry bag. Classic. And I was like, Classic. I was talking about my laundry. Slap face emoji. Uh-huh. She goes, what, LMAO? And I was like, you have a filthy mind. And then she's like, I'm about to get your ass. I do got pics, but I'm going to need to know you want them. Heart emoji. If you really think I am all that in a bag of chips. She kept saying that. I was like, don't tell my waistline, but oh, I would crush God. it. So I said, don't tell my waistline, but I would crush a bag of chips right now. And then, yeah, and then she just sent me, like, you know, just a photo of just, like, a bathroom selfie. Like, clothes, all that. She's like, one of many. Beg and you may receive. Even some spicy ones, if I may be so kind. Like, I'm not going to fucking beg. Fuck that. I'm not telling you to beg, but you got to play into what she's playing and throwing at you. Yeah, I said, it's been a while since and I've you had heartburn. No, and this is what we realized. This is what we realized. And before I, I get into this, I just, uh, man. You realized you were in the wrong. And I was no, smooth. I uh, realized that uh, if I don't. Let's have a beer real quick. Can if we... I don't. Are you crying? Getting emotional. <laughs> Uh, yeah, will you? Is My this, is this real, dude, or not? Let's have uh, another beer. Uh, will real you quick. just? Will you just? Oh. I'm having a moment, man. All right, fine. Go. Yeah, you know, I'm done. Kyler, come back. I'm back, baby. No, no. What I was gonna say, we dude, made up. Offset. I just, uh, I just, I was having some feelings there for a second. I felt like. I really needed to crack this beer, dude, because, yeah, I'm fucking thirsty. Yeah. Brought to us by a new beer, which is actually one of my favorite beers, believe it or not. I'm usually not a is. fan of Asian beers, like That's Qingdao bullshit. or Lucky That's Buddha. Bullshit. Tiger. Bullshit, dude. But You're I so do love shit. Sapporo. So, so full shit. Sapporo is a great beer. So full shit. Let's crack this You open. fucking drink this shit all the time. Don't fuck the I drink to me. Sapporo all the time. Not a fan of Chiang Mai. Really. I mean, all Asian beers pretty much are mostly the same. They're all just like very light pee Pilsner beers. Hey, know? man. Cheers, man. Thanks cheers. for being here. Hey, you Appreciate too. you. Yeah. I'm not a simp. Blade is definitely a simp. <sighs> what? Sorry. I mean, I, I like it. I like it like a, like a sake bomb. Sake? Oh, dude. Because it like brings bomb. a little bit of sweetness to this. Yeah, and it gets um, you fucked up. Well, I'm not trying to get fucked up right now. Right. Oh shit! I just spilled my beer. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't spill Psych. it on your shirt. Uh, look, regardless, dude, you didn't close. And what we realized here, and what I'm going to tell the podcast fam, is that you're a great opener. We've already discussed this multiple times. I'm a great opener, but you can never close, right? I love talking. That's where I'm going right here. I'm half Italian. Is that he can't shut his mouth, and I think that's why he prolongs conversations too long when he meets women in the bar unless they're genuinely just simping too and they just want to talk to somebody or you get to the point where you're with somebody that is talking your ear off dude and you love it because it's like attention for you you like that shit yeah that's what she was that was weird how much she blew me up but you know what she's the dom and you were the sub and you just gotta take yeah, it i'm not gonna do that i'm not uh, into you like she was it. like talking about all the shit she's into i'm not into bondage yes will, you are no i will never let 
even if it's a relationship and i've been with a girl for five years before and wow. i wouldn't let her fucking handcuff me or tie me up i i just do not have that trust in me wow. i don't know why i don't know why but okay, i just don't that's fair i just don't like the bondage I think you're or lying the kinky to the people shit. that's that's why i'm gonna call you out i'm not fucking lying i think you're lying. i'm a mish i'm like you know like i like a Bat, like I'll fuck around like you know my dick's not big enough to pick you up and fuck you against the wall like in the movies but it's like you know I'll do whatever I, I'm just not into like the fucking kinky shit or like hitting or choking that oh, okay. I, I, I don't we like already that talked stuff about some yeah. of that. okay fair enough and that's what she's all fucking into like hey, well, anime girls are like that so the people want to know dude are you going to see her tonight or aren't you nah dude we're you know what we're doing tonight. Oh, my God. And I'm going to tell the people what we're doing tonight. Fuck yeah, dude. You Atlanta's know, oldest stripper. No. We're not doing that. I won't do that, dude. I want me some southern fried no. raisins. No. Oh, my God. Jesus. Uh, no, man. We're uh, we're playing. You know, uh, last time I was here, I think we talked about this on the pod. You know, I I went to went to Cheetah's. Uh, it was a club. It was a good time. CS Mag. Mark, Doug, whatever you want to call them, uh, and we're we're actually gonna go check out with the audio guys. We're like, hey man, you want to go to this place and get some wings, world famous wings? And I was like, sick man, let's do it. What's it called? He's like Magic City, and I was like, dude, this sounds like a motherfucking strip club. We went to JW Crickets last night. That place was oh, that fucking was ghetto, fucking... dude. You go to a I wing place you. and there's two cops who check you up before you go into the fucking wing spot. Crazy. That shit was. Wings not that good either, but continue. Yeah, the wings were all right. Is my chicken strip still in the fridge? Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, I'm going to eat that, that after this. Uh, but yeah, man, we're going to go hit Magic City after this. One last little hurrah here in Atlanta and close it out. I mean, overall, though, man, my experience here, the food here, I mean, we had sushi and, and like, some ramen today. It was all right. It was, it was nothing. okay. Yeah, it was, not, it was nothing like, special. I said earlier I thought it was better than Tatsuya, but I thought that was because I was hungry. I don't like ramen tatsuya that much either. It's like, I can eat that if it's like, you know, I'm hungry. But it's not like great ramen. It was better than this place, but... It wasn't great. Yeah. No. It wasn't great. So far, just food in Atlanta has been very, very subpar at best. What are you going to give it on a scale of 1 to 10? For Atlanta? Yeah. I mean, Overall. it sucks, dude, because like, like on set you get catering... And so far, the best food I've had in Atlanta was the catering. Which or Whole like, Foods. We did go to Whole Foods for a night. Yeah. Had a nice date night. But usually it's like I would shit on Whole Foods. But, like, sadly, that is probably one of the best fucking meals we've had in Atlanta. Yeah. Was Whole Foods. So what's the, what's the final rating, dude? Look, I know there's good spots in Atlanta. Of course. But we've gone to, like, all these popular spots that people are telling us. Yes. And just from that... So don't get mad just from that because we're Come at him. we're here for a week. I'm giving it like a four out wow. of ten. You're pretty generous there, bud. You know, are you giving it less? Two point five. I thought that silver skillet place, which is like historic. Guy Fieri, blah blah blah. I'm giving that like a two. That shit was fucking awful. Took me look. What, took me forty minutes to get a fucking cup of coffee. Okay. It's not about the, yeah. The, the food sucked. The food wasn't great. The chicken fried steak was fried like like a Chinese donut, like with that weird, like a battered cod or something. It was just garbage, no flavor. Yeah, I, I just the food here is just not great. And, and no. like you said, there are probably some really great spots. I've had a great breakfast here. Again, it's not something I would eat every day, though. I just I can't do it. It's heavy. It's too fucking heavy. Too much yeah. grease. Too much fat. And yeah. and like you're you're so. And look, the catering was good, but I'll say this: it's not great. No, it's not. It's good for like most sets, though. The yeah, yes, like. Yes, but honestly, the first day was the best day. Yeah, no. And then the, it slowly went Last down, night, it was like, eh. Down. Yeah. Down. Yeah. But honestly, though, I'm not I'm not joking. Like, I'm not going to count Whole Foods because that's just, like, you know, everywhere. But that was probably the best food I had in Atlanta was, like, some shit that's been on a hot plate for four hours before we could break for lunch. Yeah. It, I just, overall, man, the experience here, the people, I mean, the people have been pretty good and pretty chill. People are chill. We didn't go out last night. People it was very, we, cool I mean, here. dude, we didn't finish work till three in the morning, quarter yeah. after three, yeah, three thirty, uh, in the morning. And then, you know, we were back in there closing everything out today at like noon. Yeah. It took us a few hours, had a nice little lunch with, uh, some locals. Yeah. And, you know, I got to say this, man, 
The people here are good, you know. But I'd say the music scene here is better than Austin, too. <sighs> well, I wouldn't know. We haven't really gotten any live music. Just from, like, all the people I've been talking to. just Well, they're everyone. always going to say that their city has great music, dude. Yeah. It's hype. But there's a lot of good bands out of here, That's too. That's cap, dude. You know? That's cap. Austin doesn't have that great of a music scene. They used to. Yeah, I mean, I guess. It's just kind of, like, just, more, um, like, tourist now kind of commercialized. I, like, I just, I think, personally, dude, uh, people that live here are always going to say that things are better. Right. Than you're always are. biased. Yeah, you're you biased. Are. Like, but... I don't know, man. Uh, Atlanta, I'd like to give it another chance, but... No, nah, I'm good. Overall rating, it's it's more humid than Texas. I hate that Texas is humid because we're Northwest guys. I give Atlanta like a, th- a solid score of three. The people were fantastic. I will meet that. Uh, not really, dude. Check-in not the people guy. we worked with. Delta people. Yeah. Some of the people we worked with. Uh, there were a lot of problems. But there's on like this some trip. cool people. Though. Housekeeping like, they're today. They're not bad people. It's just they suck no. at their fucking jobs. No, y- y- sure. Yeah. He's mad. Yeah, he's a bit mad. Yeah, venting here. Who the fuck's that Sapporo? Uh, yeah, man. I, I, I just, I, I feel like it, it, it just, it's not a city for me. <sighs> right. Excuse me. Um. <laughs> okay, your eyes are watering. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Uh, you know, it's just one of those places that I would never want to be here, like move here, live here. Like I wouldn't either. The dating scene, yeah. I I I ended up getting with somebody this week. It was fun. It was a good time. Uh, she's really chill. Uh, she said if I remember back in town, like roll through, right. which is cool. Cheers to that, dude. That's cool. You're a gentleman. Yeah, I mean, look, I think it's just putting putting expectations and boundaries out there. Anyway, right. Uh, with with Atlanta though, I just I can't see myself moving here. Or living here. Honestly, man. Because, like, my family's from Jersey, and, like, I love it over there, but I could never see myself living anywhere on the East Coast. Yeah. Well. I like Boston, but too expensive. Yeah. I just, I, I just, I'm not a fan of the food scene, man. No. It's fucking terrible here. I'm like that with Texas, too. And though. the bar scene, dude. I'm going to say it. Hot take. Right here. Atlanta bar scene sucks. I will say this about Atlanta, though. They got some Georgia peaches. Oh, my God. There are some Georgia peaches some here. Fucking booties. Dude, there are some big asses. I do like that. I do love that. But I also did uh, match with... Uh, I'll, talk, I'll talk about this, dude. I, I you saved, almost pulled a blade. <laughs> I almost pulled a blade, dude. Matched with this girl on Bumble this morning. She's a Survivor fan. So I was like, oh, I got in. Like the I, Holocaust, I, I worked or? on 14 seasons of the show, sir, oh, on okay, CBS, gotcha. yeah. and I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm in. This is easy. Let's grab a drink. Let's talk about it." And then, you know, she's like, "Oh, I've got dinner, but it should be early, and then I should be available." And I was like, "Cool. What's your number?" Like, Catfish and someone else. Let's let's go. And <laughs> then I get a message saying, "Hey, is it cool? Do you still want to hang out uh, with me? I'm trans." <laughs> you know, I will say this: at least she told you. <laughs> okay, nothing yeah. against that. Live your truth. Nah, 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 I've been catfish nah, 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 nah. Nah. Here's the deal. At least she told you. I I checked you out her profile. She looks really cute. She should say it on her. Pro- did she say it on her profile? No, she did not. Yeah. So you got to say it on your. You gotta be upfront. Yes. Otherwise, you waste your time with a fucking conversation. Exactly. I mean, I was pretty direct and to the point. My thing that was so funny though, man, is I literally was like, "Man, this chick doesn't have any tits." And I'm were you like poster pre-op? And I was like, "No, I didn't ask him that." <laughs> so then I'm like, "Yo, dude, you're like what? What? You what? You got a chick? Another one?" And I was like, "Yeah, bro." And then you checked her out, and you're like, "Oh yeah, she's got an ass." <laughs> yeah, like she had like a weird chin, but. Should've, I mean, I should have been a red flag from there. But. Well, what I was going to say. But her ass. Go ahead. Her ass what? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know how I know I you're know, gay? I looked like a dude's ass. <laughs> no. Oh, so that is your thing. No, I. you know what's funny, man, is it actually did run through my head. I was looking through her photos <laughs> earlier this morning, and I was like, is, is there a possible? Like, no, it's not. To get to your question, no. 
she never put it in in her profile that she was trans. Yeah. Just said she she goes by she her uh, looking Which a for lot of basic something college casual. Chicks do that too. Um, yeah, I had no fucking idea, and and you know how I responded. And then filters too, like all these chicks yeah, use black fucking and white. filters and shit, and like the and all like how fat girls are. No offense against, but like they all know how to use the angles and shit. Oh, you so like have the you angles. don't actually light. see what you're actually seeing. Yes. Yeah. It's all facade. Yeah. It's fucked up. I'm done with this country. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Let's go to fucking South America. We're going to South America. South America, baby. That'll be our first stop I don't on, the, do Chile, on, on the podcast tour. No, we're going back to no, Chile. No, Peru, man. Okay, Peru first, then Chile. But live in Peru. Yes, for like three months, and then we go to Santiago. We haven't checked out. Have you been to Argentina? No, I was trying to go. You should check out Argentina. I mean, the country's in dire straits right now, but yeah. I mean. Yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, man, I, I don't know how I got on my dating thing, but I, I did find it really funny that I matched with someone that's trans, didn't tell me. Luckily, I found out before I went out and wasted my time. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Well, here's here's what well, I'll I, say. I feel like you were waiting for me to be um, like, actually, no, I would have actually enjoyed it. No, I was going to say, if you don't mind, we should probably get ready to wrap it up. Um, I was going to oh, say, though. Oh, shit. Sneak peek spoiler, I did say on the last episode, we're going to be in L.A. on the next episode. And as much as I also hate pretentious L.A., which is pretty much the same as pretentious Austin now. And pretentious Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, And it's not like all big cities. It's just... Yeah, it is. Yeah, I guess. They just suck. But anyways, uh, I know at least they're better women, better restaurants. I tell you, but the trans, dude, it's hard to tell out there. Yeah, but hot take. <laughs> maybe for you. But uh we're gonna hit our fucking awesome barbecue spot in Koreatown. JBBQ. That all you can eat. We'll talk about it on the pod. Oof. And I can finally get some weed. I haven't had weed in like over a week, so uh with that, I mean I don't know, you have anything you wanna end with? I mean, I, I just man, this has been such a fun episode. We're changing it up, you know, we're we're figuring out the whole remote filming situation i kind of like it It makes you more interesting kind of like well we flight or flight we yeah we definitely feel a different vibe like this couch setup like i wasn't too sure how it was going to work but i actually kind of like it it's very chill you chose the setup it's not like this like sitting at a table you know right like i'm blocking your shot right now it is more comfortable i get why like impulsive does the couch kind of thing i I dig it man so i mean i hope the viewers and the listeners out there you know if if you're a listener long time listener not a viewer just check out the last the last this episode the last episode and maybe like our our first like our dating red flags episode yeah Uh, because you know it is a lot we will share it on the story of how much it takes for us to do this. I enjoy it. I like it. I think it's fun. I like doing it too. It's so like it a good productive hobby. And we also, I think it actually has honestly been helping me with like communication in a sense. Probably. You know, probably. I, mean, I still need a lot of work, obviously. Well, we can. We all need a lot of work, bud. But yeah. uh, no, I, I think that's it, man. Hotlanta. Uh, it's been fun, but uh, three out of ten for me. Uh, that's a two out of ten for me. We'll I'm gonna give you shit another... on it. I do. I'm gonna shit on Atlanta. I yeah. fucking hate it here. Period. I'll, I'll I'm definitely sorry. give you guys another chance. I'm not staying at this Marriott. That's for sure. Is weed legal here? I don't know. Well, Georgia, no. Medical. Ma- medical, probably. My medical card. He might expired. have just given y'all another point five. Yeah. Maybe. No, because even other states that grow weed, uh, I'm too biased. Oregon has the best. Fuck California. Word. Anyway, with that, with that, make sure you guys check us out on Instagram at the Morning Drip Cast on TikTok at the Morning Drip. Uh, we're available on YouTube, Apple, Spotify every Insta. Thursday, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, if you guys have any comments, concerns, questions, just want to hit us up, slide into our DMs. Again, let us know spots about Atlanta. Uh, we've actually been getting some TikTok messages on stuff, yeah. and which has been pretty good. I like the feedback, whether it's good or bad. Eh, anything's good. It gives you a different any, perspective. Any press is good press. Um, two people actually mentioned shit about, like, y'all must be from the West Coast because out here it's Yingling. I think that's from Pennsylvania. And also Yingling's, like, I don't know, same as Michelob Ultra, which is, like, 
<sighs> I'll drink it if it's there, but I don't know what you're talking about right now. Not a but. fan. It's been a great episode, dude. Thanks for being here. Pound like my dad. Thanks for your fucking help. <laughs> and, uh, we're going to close out the episode with that. We will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Ooh, peace.